Sure thing. Welcome back. Cotter was a popular TV show in the 1970s that many people loved. It was about a funny teacher and a group of troublemaking students called the Sweathogs. The show had moments that made you laugh a lot, some parts that were surprising, and others that were really touching. Do you remember a scene from the show that you still really like? What do you think makes this show still interesting today? Share your memories and stories about Welcome Back, Cotter below, and keep watching this video to learn more interesting things about the show. Welcome Back, Cotter is still loved by many people even today. It's an old TV show that people still enjoy watching. The characters like Arnold Horshack, Vinnie Barbarino, Juan Epstein, and Gabe Cotter made the show really special. But some folks think the show wasn't as good in its last season. Still, it left a mark on pop culture and kept people interested in it for a long time. The show came out at a time when older actors often played teenagers, which might seem weird now, but the actors did a great job. For example, John Travolta's role in the show helped him become famous. Some people think Welcome Back, Cotter is similar to later shows like that 70s show and movies like Dazed and Confused. For fans like me, watching the show again on channels like Antenna TV brings back good memories and reminds us why we liked it in the first place. Even though it's old, it's still funny and enjoyable for everyone. It's a classic that will be loved for a long time. Welcome back, Cotter, a sitcom that aired in the mid-1970s, faced a potential plot shift as one idea considered continuing the series involved the Sweathogs graduating and heading to college. The envisioned storyline included Carter transitioning into a college professor. However, this proposal was ultimately dismissed. In the episode titled Uo, Uo I Do, originally scheduled for May 25, 1979, a notable disruption occurred. The airing was preempted due to President Jimmy Carter's press conference addressing the fuel crisis in America. Consequently, the episode aired a week later and was intended as a potential series finale. Nevertheless, The Breadwinners was broadcast subsequently. The Sweathog's distinctive putt-down line, Up Your Nose with a Rubber Hose, earned recognition, securing the 15th spot in TV Guide's list of TV's 20 top catchphrases. These aspects shed light on some notable events and decisions surrounding Welcome Back, Cotter, offering insights into potential plot developments and the circumstances of specific episodes. Deborah Lee Scott and Ron Palillo, born on April 2nd, shared more than just a birthday while working on the series. Lawrence Hilton Jacobs, known as Freddy, had a parallel stint in the miniseries Roots in 1977, concurrently with his role on the show. After Gabe Kaplan's departure, Marcia Strassman stepped into the teaching role, bringing changes to the dynamics. Mr. Woodman's character underwent a transformation, shedding some of his initial gruffness to align with the show's broader appeal in Kaplan's absence. Strassman's character often interacted with Mr. Woodman in various settings around the school. These behind-the-scenes facts offer a glimpse into the dynamics of the show's cast and storyline, showcasing the interconnected nature of their careers and the adjustments made to keep the series engaging. The evolution of characters like Mr. Woodman reflects the adaptability of the show in response to casting changes. In summary, the personal connections among the cast and the adjustments made during cast transitions shed light on the pragmatic side of creating a successful and enduring TV series. Welcome back, Cotter is a classic TV series from the 1970s. It featured Lawrence Hilton Jacobs, who played a high school student. Interestingly, he later portrayed the role of a high school principal in Gilmore Girls. Lawrence Hilton Jacobs holds the distinction of being the sole cast member to appear in all 95 episodes of the series. In the opening and closing sequences of the show, there's a notable sign that reads Welcome to Brooklyn, the fourth largest city in America. Originally, this sign was situated along the Belt Parkway, just after the entrance ramp from the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. Over time, it underwent modifications and is now positioned as an overhead sign over the center lane in the same direction. These aspects contribute to the unique identity of Welcome Back, Cotter, and its significance in television history. In the episode Sadie Hawkins Day, there were plans for a cameo appearance by Groucho Marx. Cotter was supposed to do his Marx impression with Marx reacting. However, Marx, aged 86, was too weak to perform when he arrived on set, so the scene got scrapped. Although Marx took publicity photos with the cast, they were never released due to his frail appearance. Gloria Swanson auditioned for the role of the school principal, but the character became Mr. Woodman instead. In 1998, there were talks about creating a new movie musical with the original creator of the show. 
Welcome back, Cotter aired in the mid-70s and featured the Sweathogs, a group of high school students who were actually played by actors in their 20s. For example, Ron Polillo, who portrayed one of the Sweathogs, was 26 when the show began. John Travolta, another Sweathog, was 21 at the start. Despite their characters being in high school, they were part of a special guidance remedial academics group. Ron Polillo, one of the actors, came out as gay after the show ended. In the opening scene before the credits, Gabe Kaplan, alongside Marcia Strassman, who portrayed his wife, shared a joke. John Travolta, known for his role in Cotter, gained significant attention, even though he wasn't a main star in the movie Carrie. The producers of Carrie capitalized on Travolta's rising stardom by prominently featuring him in the coming attractions, labeling him as introducing John Travolta. The show faced initial resistance in Boston due to concerns about its portrayal of busing, a contentious issue at the time. However, after test airings in pre-prime time, the Boston ABC affiliate aired the show without further issues. Welcome back, Cotter emerged as a 1975 TV series inspired by Gabe Kaplan's stand-up routine and comedy album Holes and Mellow Rolls. Kaplan drew from his own experiences as a remedial high school student, shaping characters after his classmates mentioned in the routine. Notably, Vinnie Barbarino was a fusion of Eddie Leckery and Ray Barbarino, while Freddie Boom Boom Washington was based on Freddie Ferdy Payton. Juan Epstein took inspiration from a classmate known as Epstein the Animal, and Arnold Horshack's name remained unchanged. The catchphrase up your nose with a rubber hose originated from Kaplan's routine, specifically the line up your hole with a mellow roll. Initially, Farrah Fawcett was considered for the role of Julie Cotter. However, producers doubted audiences would buy her as Kaplan's wife. When Marcia Strassman, who ultimately portrayed Julie Cotter, learned of this, she felt offended questioning whether she resembled Kaplan's spouse. The show's dynamics shifted over time, with characters like John Travolta's and the other Swethogs gaining prominence, potentially contributing to Kaplan's departure. This shift paralleled situations in other shows, such as Family Ties, where characters took on greater importance due to the actor's rising fame. Welcome Back, Cotter, a TV series from the mid-70s, featured Ron Palillo as Arnold Horshack, inspired by Dustin Hoffman's Razzo Rizzo and a favorite aunt of Palillo's. His memorable catchphrase, Hello, my name is Arnold Horshack, helped him secure the role. Susan Lanier, who portrayed Bambi, a female Swedog, left the show and later appeared as Chrissy on Three's Company, only to be replaced by Suzanne Summers. Lanier also starred in The Hills Have Eyes during the same period. When Quentin Tarantino met John Travolta, whom he considered for Pulp Fiction, they played the Welcome Back Cotter board game. 